Hey guys, I want to go back over this. Uh, this it looks like someone has a little sped up video that works for me because it's like six minutes long. So let's use this one. Um, you know, it's dark, lost power. Did he drop anchor yet, the pilot? Possibly not. I hear, okay, let me show you the. So this is the sister ship that I'm researching. So uh, um, 10 to max, there it is, founder. So. The sister ship is this baby here, the Cezanne. So with that said, I'm researching the, you know, as it has a history of shutting down and not any, anything like that, you know, loaded, not loaded. It's your sister ship. It's the same, same damn deal. Interesting. It departed March 16th from Baltimore. So they were both there. Now let's get back to what I want to show you. Again, this is a sped up video. There's a six minute video, but this guy, this uh, news station did a sped up, which works for me. There's the white truck clearing the structure. And then the two car, uh, another white truck clearing the structure, another car going that way. Uh, looking at the ship, it still seems like the ship is uh, not, uh, here we go, lights on. That's probably the generator, as I stated a long time ago. Um, and because the, mat, the main part where the pilot house isn't lit up. And she's going to slide into position. This drove me crazy for a while. This is probably the, the well, this guy did zoom in. This uh, person clipped that, clipped by a brick suit right there. Um, and then the news is using it. So the, uh, so I'm using it from the news station. So the, here we go. We're zooming. We're coming. I want to show you something. All right, so lights go out. We know that. But course is still the same. So it's still a drift, but I think it's pivoting upon the anchor at this point. Pivoting upon the anchor, and, and there's other theories that, uh, you know, one guy, I know you guys keep sending me to the shipping channel, I got it. I, I look at his stuff, I, you know, he's, he's in the dark, he should strip, just stick to uh, whatever he sticks to, you know, boats, here's a boat here, and here's a boat here type thing. He called the uh, impact of the concrete as dust. All right, it's, it's not dust, dust is in your house, right? You clean your furniture from dust. This is this is this is an explosive force of that con concrete being impacted by such a huge um, vessel. The energy. Okay. And now we kick her, kick her. See, I think the anchor spinning her. I think the anchor is spinning her around. But I, I already did the video. I don't think it's quite there. And I think she's just getting, you know, yep, snatched, snagged, and then spin. And then the anchor is going to bring in an arch and a fulcrum back to the structure. And there's the lower impact of the uh, structure down low. Remember, it's weird, not remember, but I showed you in a longer video, an hour before this one, an hour video before this video. I think I'll slip it in before another one I have at 8 o'clock tonight. This, or maybe I'll slip it in last. This is now... Uh, uh, part of it's water, part of it's uh, concrete. All right. Now, as I talked about this under the structure, as this person zoomed out, you can see it's rigid here. It's breaking from the control joint of the bridge deck right here. So that's your joint, and it's breaking here also because the span is unsupported from one pier to the next. This pier just been taken out. So this is where our, our break happens. Plus the pier, the the it's is connected to this bridge deck. So as he impacts it, he's pulling on the bridge deck through the uh, pin connection, whatever it might be, and it's pulling on the structure, pushing it away, pushing it towards us. And this also makes the uh, deck fracture there with the span and expansion joint in the deck also. All right, he's going to zoom out. When he goes that, I'm going to give it to you again. So look, it already. Take note. This is down. This is it's very it's kind of shallow here. It's not that deep. And then it stops. There's the base. And there's the angle of it. And then this slides down. And it pretty much stays there. Now, this is what I want you We'll look to the left. We'll look to the right a couple of times. Look to your left first. Okay, impact it. Now it spans from here to here. Deflection is taking place here. He's pulling on They're pulling on it, right? Sorry about this. I don't know how to get rid of that. Do I know how to get rid of that W, the symbol there? Uh, well, I guess not. W, R, O, whatever. All right, so he's pulling right now. So the span was there to there, and now there's a fracture here. Okay, watch it. And then again, I talked about this. This is opening here. 
at this point, the bridge deck is popping these cables. People on deck being ejected off, slid down. They're not standing straight up anymore. They're being rolled away from us, ejected that way or this way. This is ultimately bridge deck flips, I think, in the water. The bridge deck. And then this guy goes down. Okay, we're breaking it here. It's broken from there. It's staying on top. It's pinned on top of the um, boat at this point, the ship. And now that's the new pivot point from here to here. There's tension on it. This is compression. And we're going to watch. It breaks from there. You see it tear from there. That's his last pivot point. And then we look right here. It goes down. As it goes into the water, there's a break here. And this part of the truss system that supports the uh, cantilever spans, it's now still working. It's working on the hinge. See it? And then it can't hold and it slides off. It's going to compress this side of it, sliding down, impact, impact, and then roll away from us. Now, I want to take it, do this again. I'm going to give you a nice little surprise here. Keep your eye down here where my mouse is. Watch how this structure lifts up. This bridge is beautiful. This is why the design of steel is much better than concrete. It would have never done this. Look at it lift already. Down here. Look how high it lifts before it broke there, and then it impact slams down the thing was i was wondering why did it go past here why did it failure go past this cantilever and so i had to go back over the video again and said why did it go past the cantilever it should have broke at the cantilever here i looked at the construction of this and i i determined that it should have failed just here and this cantilever from here if to here should have stayed and i know it's on a, on a pin it can basically seesaw like a like a seesaw so I thought of that, and I said, I wonder if it lift up the other end like a seesaw. It would be crazy if it did, I said. And lo and behold, I go back and look at the content, and the son of a bitch holds together and pulls. So let's get the impact. I'm going to go uh, mouse by mouse. Oops, I guess I'm not going mouse by mouse. Hold on. Uh, it, um, frame by frame. I'm looking to the right here. And once I see it lift, I'm going to go back and look to see the condition of the, the boat's position. I'm doing frames. I don't know what the frames are on YouTube. Is it really one frame or is it 23 frames or 30 frames? Okay, so we got a lot of deflection here, a lot of failure here. And it hasn't quite lift yet. It's got a little vibration down there. Now here comes the pivot point right there. It's going to lift up in a second. So I'm put my mouse there. The camera is stationary. It lifts. And it holds it. It lifts it that far over. This, this That far. That's why truss systems are so beautiful. Look how long it can hold that cantilever. It was designed with the cantilever here. And this extra part was added on to finish it up to here. But the original design was right about here where it breaks over to right about here. And then this system held together. Look how high it's off before it rolls back around. This shows you the engineering, 1970. It's beautiful. Now they're going to fuck it up and put concrete there. I hope not. Please don't tell me they're going to put some ugly ass suspension bridge here. This is a beautiful bridge. It's easy to maintain. You know, no cables. And then it slaps back down, as you see in a second. And when it slaps back down, there, because it's pretty much almost broken, broken. But when it releases, here comes the release. It's still high. When it releases here, that's going to be it, the rebound is too much for it, and it's twisting, oh, twerking also, twisting, twerking. A little bit of torque action is trying to break free. I think it's got a little torque away from us here. And it looks like it's up over here on the foot. And there's the release. And you say explosives or whatever, you, you can just take that nonsense somewhere else. Go please troll somebody. Not troll, but if you believe that, I can't help you. All right, then there's the release. It can no longer land. It can't land back on there squarely. And you can see it's still good. It was still good. It slides off, though. Slides off to the outside. It's coming back down. And let's watch it. Now it's rolling a bit. And there's the break now. It's done. 
This is in compression now. This is the tension that already broke there. Let's uh, press play. And there you go. There's a flat impact. It's very flat there. Very flat. It's like they can grab it and drag it out with the right equipment, you know. Look at that. And then it breaks off of that roller. And then there it goes, sliding right in. What's left are the power lines in the background with their lights. All right, hope you enjoyed that, that new detail that you might be able to enjoy. And I'll, I'll, I just kept thinking this design should have fractured somewhere else. It should have fractured like right there and le left it alone with some expansion joint. And then I had to think about it. And then there it is, the roller did it. It's these roller, roller uh, bridge, um, bri not a roller. I don't know what's on that one, actually. Um, can't be for sure, but let me see. Uh, let me show you what a bridge roller look like. Um, all right, so they look like this would be a roller. Well, that's a roller. I don't think it's on a roller. I think it's on a, okay, images. It might be on a, see, that's there right there. It can move back and forth. Um, there's some here. This is this. This is this. This guy's beautiful. There's one. See that? It's got multiple. Um, you see that closer to speak on that, but there's a pin there. And there's a pin here and pin here. So these two could rock theoretically separate if it was broken, their expansion, but I don't think that is. There's a double roller here. Single. Single. Look, triple. Up. Oh, correction quadruple four rollers all right um they often get bound and that runs into a problem uh when they lock up you don't want to lock up you'll get a failed bridge as you can see for scale the size of it and yeah one man can pick these up themselves i'm shitting you it's very dense steel um Here's one that uh, probably wouldn't like that one because it looks like it's, you know, the way they notch that. Uh, there's some more. There's some more. And all the structure. Let's get you, let's get you something similar. Let's see the uh, one similar to that one if we can. No, these are uh, not the... There's a beautiful one. Look at that. See, and it looks like it's an expansion joint there. So they'll roll. They'll they'll not. Die. It has to be separate. So they're they'll roll a little bit that way, a little bit that way down. For expansion temperature ranges, driving on the structure, loading, and so um, this bridge again is called the uh, um, yeah. Let's see if they have images of the roller. Now, um, bear with me. Let me move this away while you look at that. And I'll do it off, off screen on the other screen to the left of me. I'll let you see this right there. I'll let you look at that for a minute. Um, and... I'm trying to look up an image for it real quickly from back in the day. Ooh, there we go. There's there's one there like that. That's one of the, one of those deals. But you can see where that connection would be. And that's not the one we're talking about, the cantilever. I'm trying to find the construction of it, but somebody already snatched that up. Let's move that over. I put in a videos in one of the videos previous. Uh, there we go let's bring it back over so that somebody one day ago baltimore sun there it is there installing um francis scott key bridge remember this guy that did a star spangled banner it was dedicated to, dedicated to him from 1972 to 1977 is a person wrote that it is true i found that and here's the beauty of this shot here I found these all day one day ago. This is all online, but now people are publishing them. Um, let's go to that one to the left. This one, the the uh, the, pe the people that only tell the truth, 
the most trusted news network. <laughs> Them. <laughs> Come on, I'm trolling. All right. So let's get a blow up of that image. All right. So here's your bridge deck. Okay. So there should be, this is going this direction, but there should be another one. There it is underneath. So that's what the hangers would have. Uh, no, it's the nodal area on this one. Not hangers on this one. It's that, huh. This is that last section that we just saw it flip around, flip over. All this redundancy of steel. Beautiful. And this is crowned at the top, so water runs this way and that way into gutter systems. Beautiful, huh? Now these guys, there's the stud system to tie it together, an expansion joint right there. There's one right there. And on the other side, we'll have it also. And that's that design back then. Let's see what we got here. I guess they got nets down below because they're pretty uh, out in the open here without worrying about nets to catch them. Fall protection. All right. Take care, guys. Uh, oh, what do we have here? So you saw the, the bridge deck now just... What did I do? Did I lose my video? There I did. There it is. So you saw the bridge deck um, lift the entire end up. Beautiful construction. Absolutely beautiful. All right. That's absolutely beautiful. Take care. Love you guys. Bye.